Good morning everyone, Kai Noszowski, Mount St. Peter Eye Clinic Trier. Today I would like to talk about and discuss a little bit of the DMEC preparation. It's only going to be a discussion, quick discussion about the DMEC preparation part. Now a few key points. Um, I like to prepare the lamellas myself. There's a lot of pre-cut stuff going out there and I think this is an excellent option. What I don't like about the key pre-cut option is that they are usually not stained really well, thus giving you a hard time orientating the lamella within the eye. Therefore you have to re-stain it within the in injector and this can sometimes lead to contact of tripen blue with the endothelium and I don't like that. Another point is that I just like as a quality control measurement I like to prepare the lamella myself therefore if I screw up I know that it was my fault and if I have a pre-cut lamella um, you don't know who the person was that prepared the lamella so in, in case something goes wrong with the lamella it's always best to know that you are actually responsible for that. Now here's a few hacks that I would like to discuss with you about that before we go on to jump into the videos. First point is angulate your microscope just a little bit towards about 15 to 20 degrees. This helps you to decrease reflections from the fluid that is on top of the cornea. Now the second very important point is, and I used to get that wrong all the time, is please do the highest magnification possible within your microscope while you do the preparation. This helps a lot because you are <clears throat> obviously um, operating in a very uh, very delicate field with a very delicate tissue there and the higher the magnification is the better you can see. Now the other option I always mention is if you have any options that can help you even if it's an IOCT just use it just to give you the the extra advantage in which planes you are operating. All right as I said before this is the um, this is the preparation that, that I'm starting. Now you can see I'm, I'm trying to dry off as much fluid as possible in order to prevent reflexes of the light. I have my microscope angulated, try to have the preparation side a bit easier, a bit drier, and now I'm going in with a full magnification with the maximum magnification that I have of my operating microscope. Keep in mind this is a very important hack. The more that magnification you have, the easier it is you see. Now, even with the angulation, I have some reflexes left there. And I'm using the preparation knife only in a horizontal fashion in order not to create holes. Now I've switched on the IOCT and when you see me operating there, look at the OCT please, you see that there is um, between the lamella and the stromal part of the cornea, there seems to be stuff. Um, it's not a clear separation that you see there in the OCT. You see that the lamella is coming off, but you see that there is some, some remnants there, apparently remnants and just stuff. And this should always be a hint that your preparation is too deep. Now I'm using the blunt cannula and try the hydrolyzed section here using tripen blue. I pinch down really hard with a sponge in order to prevent reflux or efflux from the injection side. And now look at what's happening. What's happening now is that I'm creating um, unintentionally this tree sign. This tree sign within the corneal part and this tree sign indicates that you are too deep and therefore I'm switching preparation sites. I always recommend going 180 degrees for the mispreparation side. Although you have prepared too deeply, there still might be holes. Now again, um, sharp preparation only horizontally and moving towards the center with a blunt spatula. Now look at the OCT. If you look at the OCT now, everything's a bit too um, clumsy now, but look at the shadow in the OCT. Now you can see that we have a clearer preparation. There still is some stuff remnants there, but you see that everything comes off a bit more nicely and a bit more easily, and you ha we have created a nice bubble. Look at the IOCT where we go in there. Now, this is always an indication 
that we are a bit better located within the um, dissection plane. Now I'm going in with the blunt cannula again, pressing down really hard using a sponge on the cannula. And I'll look at the OCT where I'm creating a tiny bubble. You can see it in the picture and in the OCT. Now I have my assistant and, and now this is this is a nice bubble. This is exactly what you want to see. Now you know that you are exactly at the preparation plane where you want to be. Now I'm pressed on hard with a sponge and um, I inject the um, triplum blue. And I give it some time to let it stain. Remember, there's no contact of triplum blue with the endothelium thus making it a very nice preparation method. Now what I do is I twist the blunt cannula 90 degrees, thus creating an opportunity for the dye to flow out of this bubble. And I use the sponge to create a little bit of suction force in order to, you know, to suck out the dye under the lamella. Now what I do usually in those cases, I just do a quick IOCT scan to see just how much remnants of the tribe in blue are underneath the lamella because the more remnants that you have the more likely you are to have a larger trephine site with this 70 trephine. Now I'm just doing a slight a slight trephination there. I'm not going full thickness of the cornea and then I'll put in a little bit of BSS to do a shark fin preparation. This is another example that you can see really well how, how the separation side works here. Um, again, horizontal movements with the sharp knives. Now the blunt spatula, you can see it in the shadow in the OCT. It's very nice, um, very nice separation. There is not much of the stuff within the lamella and the corneal part. Again, I'm going in with the blunt <clears throat> cannula to do the dissection with the triplum blue, trying to dissect the membrane. And again, you just enter with the cannula and then you take a sponge, a cigar sponge in this case, and you push down really hard. Now, what, what happens in this case is that I'm only creating a little bit of a bubble and I haven't prepared enough towards the central part, therefore I'm just going in preparing a little bit more with the blunt spatula and then I'm pressing down again really hard just to create this bubble. You can see that we are creating this bubble nicely, thus having a perfect, perfect preparation plane for this. Again, blunt spatula, I'm going to turn it now 90 degrees, you can see it, thus yielding a path for the triplum blue to exit the sublamellar space using a sponge to um, create an extra suction. Now you can see that um, the, the triplum blue staining isn't really that accentuated and that's due to the fact that I just haven't stained that long. But this was um, only in the case where I was doing only in DIMIC, not um, a combined operation, therefore I wasn't expecting that much. Now, 7-0 trephination, as you see again. And now I'm putting again a few drops of BSS in order to help me uh, create this arrowhead, um, arrowhead side to give me an orientation within the eye. Now, this is the drops of BSS. And then I use scissors. What I recommend is using angulated scissors because that makes it a bit easier um, to do this arrowhead. Now, this Arrowhead points counterclockwise now, and if you prepare the lamella, inject it to the eye, and if it's the arrowhead then is pointing clockwise, then you know that the lamella is orientated well. All right, guys, I hope that was very helpful, the videos. Now um, I'd like to point out, um, again, use an angulation of the microscope, please. Um, use the highest magnification possible dry the area where you are operating in order to reduce reflections and then angulate your cannula of the 
um, liquid dissection in order to suck it out and I always control and try to grasp how much remnant fluid is underneath the um, preparate area in order to to see if you have an overlap or an underlap later on but underlap it's not going to be and as an extra tip just use this arrowhead uh, giving you the extra advantage when you are operating to see where these things are going cheers mates